So guys, um, yeah, it is a preview of our sleeping bunny, isn't it? Because I didn't want this to lie down, but I guess it decided to lie down. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into the tutorial now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl by your love, Fatty Kaboo. So guys, welcome back. Like I promised, we're going to be doing a design for Esther. So I did one last week and this is the second idea. So we're going to be stuffing a bunny into a bubble balloon. So it's going to be like in a hot air kind of design. And this design, the way I'm going to do it, you could actually replicate it kind of with a bigger you know bigger design bigger baskets and all of that anyway let's get into the video but before we do please remember to subscribe share this video like and comment i would love to read from you your comments i love responding to them so make sure you drop a comment ask me any questions and i'll respond see you at the end of the video Bye. so guys you get a dual stick or a maxi two stick like I'm using a Magzi 2 stick here. So if you don't have a Magzi 2 stick, just use a Dowell stick. You can find Dowell stick on Amazon or on eBay. I'll put some in my description, um, sorry, in my Amazon store so that you can find some. So next I cover the Dowell stick with a ribbon. You can see I've wrapped the ribbon around the Dowell stick. And next I put on some double-sided tape. The double-sided tape part will be where I would be hanging the balloon on so that will be where the balloon will be sitting on next you get tape cable ties you can see I've got cable ties there and you put it into the basket you know basket has gaps where you can easily slot in um, cable ties um, if your baskets if you're not using a basket or you're just using a normal box um, what you could do is you could drill a hole um, into the box you're using and then just put in your cable tie through so once you put your cable tie in you could just pull it over the stick and you're good to go right some people will say oh why didn't i use um hot melt glue uh reason is hot melt glue could actually like move it could break free easily but with cable tie you're sure that your sticks are secured it's not going to move because the cable tie is you know really strong and all of that so um i would suggest you use cable ties 100 percent so you could use the smaller size of the cable ties it doesn't have to be the big ones next i get my bubble balloon so with the bubble balloon you not need to cut it at the edge but first because bubble balloons i've got like a long neck um, so what I obviously do is I cut the neck a bit so that I can easily get access into the balloon and or if I want to like put in smaller balloons inside it makes it easier um, so yeah um, now you pre-inflate your balloon and let out the air some people would stretch the balloon instead of pre-inflating it um i prefer to pre-inflate because it's faster anyway next you cut the bubble balloon at the edge you know at the seam that's when you cut it you make sure if you're finding it difficult to do the you know to cut that edge part i would advise that you just do a, a tiny nip and then you inflate then you put your scissors in it to like cut it properly so once you've cut it open the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna like tie a fishing line to your bunny so with my fishing line um what i did was i tied it to the label on the bunny so you could either tie it on the leg of the bunny or the ears or whatever you just make sure you have a strong attachment point to the bunny 
so with cutting the bubble you have to like take your time and if you're going to be cutting it cut it closer to the neck cut it at a straight point because when you when you cut it at a straight point it will be easy for you to like heat seal it if you do not cut it at the straight point it might become an issue for you when it's sealing So I'm putting my bunny in to the bubble balloon. Um, so initially I wanted to like put um, five inches balloons inside with the bunny, but I realized my uh, bubble balloon was too small. Um, this is like, I think this is like 20 inches size. And I didn't want to like stuff it with balloon and then I would have issues when you know inflating the balloons inside so what I did was I poured in some eggs so you could just put chocolate eggs with the bunny and then you heat seal so for an heat sealer you would get one from eBay Wholesalers like Balloon Market, um, I think Tiger Fit Direct, they all sell heat sealer. And you should find one in my Amazon store. Link to my Amazon store is in description. Um, I know some of you would ask what setting did I put my heat sealer on. I think I put it on number three. You don't want it too hot or it won't seal the way you want. So once you think you sealed it. Then you try and inflate, put your round hand round where you've it sealed. And if you think there's still a hole there, reseal again. Just make sure it's properly sealed. So with this one, I've discovered that there was still a hole. So I resealed again. Carefully, you need to seal at that edge and make sure it blends with what you're doing. So you can see I'm rubbing my hands on it. To be sure it's sealed so it's sealed now so next i pull up my bunny um another thing i could suggest is you could use a bigger bunny instead of the small tiny one i used here so also guys most of all the items i used in this um this diy is the bunny design where from the one pound shop um people in the united states will call it the um dollar store so we have a one pound shop and like the bunny was two pounds um the eggs they were like one pound the basket was one pound and you know everything i used basically um so next i'm gonna like tie a bow onto the bobo balloon this is just to cover my mechanics i don't like my the neck of my balloon showing if i'm not attaching anything there so I decided to add a bow to it. So you could just make a bow yourself or you could buy a ready-made bow. Um, I'm not so good at making bows, but I try to improvise when I need to use a bow. Um, so yeah, you could find a bow on eBay, you know, ready-made ones. Or if you want to learn how to make your own bow, you could actually... Um, check um on youtube actually uh there'll be videos of how to make a balloon a, a bowl loads and loads of videos on youtube anything to save money isn't it guys Just make sure the bow looks as nice as possible. So the, to make the bow sit properly, I decided to add a bit of Uglu Dash to it to help it sit. And then I cut off the bow. 
Right. At this point, my bunny is kind of like lying down. It's not sitting up the way I wanted it. And I think it's because I did not push the fishing line down enough. Um, so next thing, I'm going to place the bubble balloon in between the sticks. So remember I said to you, I'd put double-sided tape on the sticks. So it was easy peasy. The balloon sat properly in between the sticks without any stress. So next I've got like shredded um, plastic. I'm going to be putting that in the basket. So this is to help weigh down, you know, because the bubble is kind of like big and you don't want it tipping over. Or you could just put some like, like water weight or sand weight into the basket just to like give it extra weight. So I added a bit more of the double-sided tape to the sticks to give, um, so that I could attach the bowls I'm going to be putting. So I got some chicks from the one pound shop and I placed it into the baskets. Cute little chicks. Anything to, you know, bring them the Easter festivity. And then I put the, put the remaining of my eggs into the baskets. Next, I'm going to make bows that I'm going to be attaching to the, the spots where the stick is. Obviously, you want to cover your mechanics. You don't want your, your stick showing. So you could either do a bow or you could do a balloon bow actually using a 260Q. So this design can be repl replicated um, for like a birthday. You could put a teddy bear inside and then the base could have flowers. You know, there's so many things you could do with this design. And hopefully I'll get the time to like remake the design, you know, maybe for like a centerpiece or something. And there we go. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Um, drop a comment. Tell me what you think. I'd love to read from you. Um, and I'll see you same time next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.